An estimated 600 kilograms of beef were allegedly confiscated and destroyed by ZRP Gutu on Thursday, the day of the Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC Ward's six victory celebrations, when party leader Nelson Chamisa was scheduled to speak. The meat was ruined, and tens of villagers who had come prepared for festivities returned home empty-handed. It was stated that the meat was impounded due to lack of inspection. The meat at Gutu Abattoir was destroyed by burning yesterday, according to sources who spoke with the mirror. Ironically, it's common practice in Zimbabwe to sell and eat uninspected meat. At ZANU PF rallies, animals are killed and fed to followers without a health check, and butcher shops around the nation, including metropolitan areas, sell meat that hasn't been examined. Two animals were killed for the celebrations which were scheduled to take place in tandem with a rally at the Chiriga Business Center in Chatsworth, Gutu on Thursday, according to CCC National Organizing Secretary Amos Jabaya, who verified the information to the Mirror. However, Chamisa was unable to attend the event due to urgent obligations. After the meat was impounded, supporters who had come ready to celebrate left empty-handed. Ephraim Miroto our party's candidate in the good to west parliamentary by-election, purchased the second beast, and I purchased one for the ward's six victory celebrations. As Miroto was transporting the beef from Pandawana to Chiriga in his automobile, police seized it and threatened to destroy it as it lacked an inspection certificate, according to Chibaya. The sole rural council seat in Guta district to be officially declared won by the CCC is Ward 6 which is located in Gutu West. The election was widely denounced as fraudulent by SADC and the world community. It was unable to reach Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyathi, the national police spokesperson, on his cell phone when it was time to go to press. According to Miroto, ZANU PF shouldn't utilize the police. Political parties should not use governmental institutions, he argued. ZANU PF is using the police. Our sources informed us that roadblocks had been erected and that plans had been made to sabotage the demonstration. He stated, speaking to supporters, Chibaya told the villagers that their vote would remain confidential and asked them not to be forced into voting assistance. We implore you to vote without assistance. Your secret is how you vote. Chibaya stated, ZANU-PF is turning to violence because it is terrified of CCC. Mirror.